Now back to the Coral Princess cruise ship at Port Miami. Some of the passengers who were able to disembark are now flying home after being stranded for weeks. CBS 4's Ty Russell is live at Port Miami with the latest info on these passengers. Ty. Well, Jim, tonight several of those travelers are finally off of this cruise ship right here and on their way home. Today, we're also learning eight more people were taken to the hospital. Now, all of these travelers were first on this ship back on March 5th. Now, the cruise line says they're still working to find accommodations for healthy travelers because of new CDC guidelines. Healthy Coral Princess travelers boarded charter buses Sunday night at Port Miami before heading to charter flights at Miami International Airport. Princess Cruises says only people fit to travel heading to California, Australia, and the United Kingdom are leaving the ship because the charter flights are heading to those places. The cruise line says new changes to CDC guidelines prevent cruise ship passengers from going on commercial flights and riding in ground transportation with people who were not on the ship. Passengers have been on Coral Princess since March 5th. During their trip, it was announced there would be a suspension of cruises sometime after that. Ports started turning the ship away. Two people died and many others were sick. The ship says there were 12 COVID-19 cases. The county says the Coast Guard, the CDC, along with Customs and Border Protection, allowed it to dock Saturday. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez released a video statement Sunday. We continue to work at the Port of Miami to offload passengers and crew and get them to their homes as quickly as possible, while also helping some very sick patients get the medical care that they need. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue confirms it helped take eight people to the hospital Sunday. Their conditions are unknown. They also replaced oxygen tanks on the ship since the previous ones were critically low. On Saturday, the county says two critically ill patients were taken to Larkin Hospital and three others were taken to a hospital in Tampa. Late that night, the county confirms a sixth patient was taken by a private ambulance to the hospital and later died. Our news partner, the Miami Herald, reports 71-year-old Wilson Ma is the man who died. The county says his wife, Toiling, was taken to the hospital Sunday. Since then, Congresswoman Debbie Murkacell Powell called for a local investigation after a relative told the Herald Wilson Ma waited hours for an ambulance and relatives were the ones who called 911. And once again, a month on this ship, and it is still unclear tonight exactly when all of these travelers will be able to return home. Now, as for the ones who are off of the ship, the cruise line told me they are all required to wear those face masks until they get to their home. And also, they cannot travel with other people who were not on this ship. We are live at Port Miami. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight. Ty, thanks. They've been through an awful lot. Well, listen.